Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to build a modal using Webflow. Modals are a great way to direct the user's attention to something important on the screen. In this example, it works by clicking the button to open it, click the X to close, or you can click the background to close it as well. It's fairly simple to build, so let's get started. Firstly, add a new div to your page. Set its display to flex align and justify center. This will place the modal card we create later in the center of the screen. Next, set its position to fix, cover, and give it a high Z index. This ensures the modal will always stay on top of the user's page regardless of scrolling. Next step is to add a modal background. Add a new div inside the modal wrapper and set its position to absolute and cover so that it fills the entire page. Give it a background color with a low opacity. By setting a low opacity, the page content below the modal will be visible but have a grayed out appearance. Lastly, set its cursor style to pointer. Now we'll add in our modal card. I've already designed a card earlier, so let's just copy that one in. And that's all you need for the structure of the modal. Let's add some interactions to show and hide our modal on mouse click. Firstly, click on the close icon button and navigate to interactions and click add a new mouse click element trigger. Select start an animation, create a new animation and select the modal wrapper. With the modal wrapper selected, select Hide Show Animation. Set the modal's display to Hidden and click Save. Now we'll apply the same interaction we just created on the background element. This allows users to close the modal by clicking on the background. Now that that's all good, let's hide our modal and add a button to our page that will show the modal when we click it. We'll follow the same process for creating an interaction as we did just did except this time we'll set the display to flex. And that's it, you're all set.